Now let's get to those flat tires. Like I said, it was something that I didn't even know how to do myself, so I wanted to learn. And to be honest with you, it's actually a very easy process that only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. If you're unlucky enough to get a flat, the first thing you want to do is pull over to the right hand shoulder and get your hazards on. From there, get ready to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Most of the time, the spare tire is in the back of the vehicle, underneath the compartment. It looks something like this. We went to Sierra Ford Rochester Hills to learn how to change a flat. You want these three things to make it all happen. A jack, a lug wrench, and a spare tire. On the front of the jack, it will point out specific areas where you are able to jack the vehicle up. There are jacking points. Most cars have an arrow underneath to show where the jack goes. On the tire, loosen the lug nuts first. By hand, turn the jack up to make a point of contact. Then use the lug wrench to lift the car. Once it's lifted, use the wrench on the tire. Once everything is in place, take the tire off. If it gives you any force at all, jack it up a little higher. Take the old tire off, spare on, tighten by hand, then with the lug wrench, lower the jack, and you're all done. Remember, the spare is just meant to get you to safety, not to drive on. Usually, you want to keep it off the expressway, especially if it's a front end to front tire, because it'll actually cause the vehicle to pull, okay. because it's so small. Now's a good time to make sure you have everything in your car you need if you do get a flat, that lug wrench, the spare tire, and the jack. Especially check for that spare tire. A lot of cars, especially if you're buying them used, don't come with that spare tire. And of course, you can call AAA. I've had a couple people on Twitter telling me AAA, but it just felt like cheating. I felt like I wanted to learn for myself.